Hey, how you doing out there in YouTube land? This is Stiletto coming at you from the Wild Wild West. Today, well, we have sort of an unboxing, even though the box has already been open. But it's a brand new blade that I really like and I thought I would share with you. But before we get started, I just want to say I hope all of you are doing okay out there. Right, we're going through a crazy time right now. It doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat, whatever party, republic, re, political party that you believe in or b belong to or participate in, or doesn't matter what religion you believe in, whether you believe in God or not, doesn't matter what ethnic group that you, that you are a part of, or what part of the world that you live in, or what country you come from, we're all going through this. We're all going through this. The coronavirus isn't a joke. I just hope that you're watching this video and you're doing okay. You're just being bored at home and you're not sick. And I hope that everybody's doing okay financially. But anyway, let's talk about knives. But anyway, let's, let's, let's talk about something else. This is a brand new one. Just received it. Received it about three days ago. And I just want to do a video on it. It's Friday. I still have to go to work. They deem my job essential, so I still have to go to work. So I just got off this afternoon, and this is my weekend off. And I just want to share this with you. Here we go. Oh, this comes from, let me, before I get started, this comes from um, Knives Ship Free. Knives Ship Free. Their address is 8823 Production Lane. And I don't know how to say it. I know it sounds like a Native American name. I don't know how to say it. I'm going to spell it. O-O-T-E-W-A-H, Tennessee. 37363. Their phone number is area code 423-910-9070. Their email is sales at knives, knivesshipforfree.com. I purchased two of these from Knives Ship for Free. This is the one that's going to be the collector. Okay, this is a Benchmade Black Class. Black Class means that it's as it was designed for law enforcement, military, or rescue survival use. If I have that right, let me see if let me see if I have that right. It says it in this little document right here. I'll read it to you. Black class designed and developed and tested to for extreme duty. They are the preferred cutting tools for for the elite. For elite military, law enforcement, and pub public safety personnel around the globe. That's what this is. That's what, this is a black class. This is a Benchmade black class. It's a SOCP 391. 391BK. As D2, D2 steel, manual opening. That's all it says on the box. Doesn't say a whole lot on the box. I'm so used to getting cold steels where they give you all the description of the knife and all the specs of it right on the box. That's not the way that. Benchmade does it. Put this back in the box. Okay, here's a knife. Oh, this show show you what else they give you with the give you with the knife. They give you a little tool, little Allen tool, so you can adjust your screws on your knife handle and the pivot. And they also give you a, a the circular the circular pocket clip. 
that goes along with um, Greg Thompson's um, way that that, that he uh, trains but they trains people with this knife and some blue Loctite type of screws a really cool little setup they give you a nice little setup here I like that okay here's a knife it comes in like a little pouch like a little satin or silk pouch I don't know if you can see that, it says Benchmade on it. Let's move these things out the way. Oh, it has a little clip thing that goes and But, it's perfectly centered. Perfectly centered. Fit and finish on it is fault flawless. This is the new CF Elite has a new CF Elite handle scales, which means carbon fiber elite is car carbon fiber and polymer polymer mixed together. It's supposed to be a lot more rigid and tougher than grivery. And it's a lot stiffer. Stiffer than a G10. It's supposed to be a real durable material and it's really lightweight. It's more lightweight than Grivery or G10 also. So it's a great handle if you were trying to make a lightweight knife. Grab me a great handle material for a lightweight knife. The blade is made out of D2. It's three millimeters thick. It's four and a half inches long. The handle is about five and a quarter inches, if I remember right. This, 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 uh, let's find out exactly what it is. Let's okay. Well, if you go from the, the, the glass breaker, the carbon glass breaker at the bottom of the tip, if you start from there, if that's where you're saying the bottom of the handle is, the handle's about five and a half inches long. The blade, four and a half inches exactly. Total. It's over 10 inches. This skip, this um, ruler only goes up to 10 inches. So it's over 10 inches. Probably 10 and a quarter or something like that. 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half inches, something like that. It's beautiful. It's a spear shaped blade. I would call this sort of like a saber ground. It's got like a flat ground flat to the the edge right here it has a flat on the edge the blade flats go all the way through up to about here on the blade right about here then it goes down but stays up three millimeters till right about here and i can feel it i can feel it then it goes down to the point this it's thick all the way up to right here let's see what I actually you can see it in the yes yeah, right about here yep it stays three millimeters to all the way out to there and then it goes get turns into the point I don't know if you can see that see what I'm talking about well, that's d2 steel though that's bench made d2 steel so it's, you know it's good d2 steel so and they make a lot of their knives with three millimeter thick blades. I prefer thicker blades usually, but I just love this knife. I loved it when it came out in the liner lot. 
about a year, year and a half ago, something like that, two years ago. I can't remember exactly, but it came out with, it was called a 390 instead of a three, this is a 391. It was called the model 390 SOCP and it had a liner lock and, um, G10, G10 handles. And the handles are G10 with um, stainless steel liners. And the back spacer is G10. I mean, it's not G10. I mean, this, this, this one right here is Carbon Fiber Elite with stainless steel liners that have been lightened up. They have holes in them. And uh, has Carbon Fiber Elite back spacer also. Carbon, carbon Fiber Elite handle scales, Carbon Fiber Elite back spacer with full stainless steel liners that have been lightened up. And the other one that was a liner lock had stainless steel liners with a G10 backspacer and G G10 handle scales. And that was the difference. And it had a liner lock, but the blade the blade still looked pretty much exactly the same. And it's, it's designed by Greg Thompson, the knife and knife fighting instructor, self defense instructor for military and law enforcement. He, he designed the SOCP dagger, which is a fixed blade, which is smaller than this. It's designed to be concealed and it has a ring on it so you can, you don't have to lose it out of your hand if you're using a firearm. It's designed to work with firearms, be used in conjunction with the firearm. I absolutely love this knife. Me, myself, I love stilettos. I guess you sorry picked up on that, right? <laughs> I, actually, I actually really love stilettos. And to me, this is a tactical stiletto. That's what this is. And they also, you also can get this with a serrated edge or a, um, and a training blade, too. You also can get it with a training blade. The training blade doesn't have the, the, um, the carbide um, glass breaker at the bottom of it. And it has like red has a red back spacer and it has a red blade that's made out of 440 C I believe and it has the the red pocket clip round you know circular pocket clip mounted to it but these let me tell you about these though my first one that I got that I've been using I carrying um, when I first got it it was like really stiff like like if I, if I um, open it up too fast or too hard it would like go into like a fixed blade mode this one will do it too because this one hasn't been used or carried I'll show you what I'm talking about let me see if I can get it there we go now see it's hard to close it takes some effort to close let me do it again it's hard to close it takes a lot of effort now, when these are brand new, that's how these are, and you have to break them in because the tolerances on the on the on, on this access lock are really tight, and there's no blade wobble or no side to side, no up or down or anything in this blade when it's lock in lock position. And like I've had other ones that you know, like when you get them, they're they're, they're real they're, they're real loose and stuff like that when you first get them, like the the, the eight tens when you get those, you know, they're, they're, there's they don't have that issue <clears throat> but they also get loose and they get side to side real quick you have to tighten them up this one if you open it up slow you don't have that, that issue when you first get them this one hasn't been I haven't put any oil or anything on then this is just like straight out the box this is where they come it hasn't been adjusted or anything If you do it hard, it'll go into a lock position. And you can't do it like that no more. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's show you the one that I'm carrying. <clears throat> this one I'm carrying. I've been carrying it every day. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this knife. <laughs> can't tell you guys how much I love this knife. I really do love it. And... When I first got it, let me tell you something though. When I saw this blade stock, I thought, wow, that looks thin. You know what I mean? It looks, 
you know, it's like 2.8 millimeter. I don't know if it even looks like 3 millimeter. It looks really thin and stuff like that. Because, you know, I'm used to cold steel knives. I'm used to, you know, always having like a 3.5 millimeter or thicker blade. And so I'm not used to having something that's like a 3 millimeter blade, especially for a blade that's this long. Cold steel uses like 3 millimeter blade stock, and they're smaller blades, like, um, well, they use it in their, their small tie, um, their, their small tie like, they're not the six, but the other one, the little, the four inch one, or the nine inch one. They, they use, they use a uh, three millimeter blade stock in that, if I can't remember, if I don't remember right. And also in a lot of the smaller knives that they make, they use like three millimeter blade stock. But in their bigger knives, they usually tend to use three and a half to four millimeter, all the way up to you know, 4.8 millimeter, a 5 millimeter blade stock. So I'm, I've always been used to that, but you know what it makes the knife heavy? It makes the knife heavy, you know, especially if you're going into a longer knife, like this one, where, you know, you're talking a 10 inch, 10 inch knife fully open. It makes the knife heavy if it has, you know, like 4 millimeter blade stock or 3.5 millimeter even blade stock. It makes it, tends to make it sort of on the heavy side, you know, where you'd be like over 6 ounces. For the knife, even even if you have thin scales, it's, I think it was still way over six ounces. But this handle is pretty awesome because it's fairly stiff. See, I'm pressing on it, and there's not, not any flex, hardly any. There's a, just a t tiny, tiny bit of flex. I mean, well, I'm a strong person, so you know, this is a, this is a very you know stiff knife. And it only weighs, these only weigh like 3.2 ounces. I mean, 4.1 ounces or something like that. I think it's 4.1. 4.1. Let me see. Here we go. 4.1 ounces. See, the, both of them are the same. 4.1 ounces. That's what these weigh. 4.1 ounces. And after they break in, they're awesome. I love these. I love these. I love the axis lock. The axis lock is not only a strong lock, you know, it's not as strong as a triad lock. You know, that's been proven. We all know that. But it is a very strong lock. You know, stronger than most of us will ever need. We all know that too. And uh, it's a very good lock. And uh, it's fun to play with. It's fun to, it's fun to fidget with. It's fun to, you know, it doesn't take any effort once your knife gets broken in. And this one, I've been I've been playing with it, and there's no wobble or nothing, and it's all broken in. It's super smooth. These have phosphor these have phosphorus bronze washers. In between the the stainless steel liners, the lightened out steel, stainless steel liners, and and the and the D2 blade. I don't think this one has any Teflon washers, and I haven't taken this knife apart. And I'm not going to take it apart. It doesn't need to be taken apart. It works perfectly. And, uh, I don't know. It's just like the fit and finish on this is like excellent. And it works perfectly. It, like I said, the only issue that I see that I hope that a lot of people don't freak out on is when you first get it. When you flick them out hard, they will go into a fixed blade mode. But take my word for it. Just keep, just keep opening and closing it. Opening and closing it. Put some oil in it. I use Militech 1. Put some oil in it. And work the oil into it. And just let it. Just let it wear naturally, and they will get perfect. This knife is awesome. Awesome. I love the balance of it. I love the way it feels. It's just an awesome knife. And the balance is like right where it's supposed to be. Perfectly balanced knife. That's a perfectly balanced knife. It was made, it, I could see this. I could tell this knife was built, made by design. You know, designed by somebody that knows about knife fighting. It's good for any kind of grip. It's good in reverse. You know, backwards or forward blade grip. It's good for any kind of grip. It's awesome, and with all these little, the way that the handles molded, molded and stuff, it really you you really get a good grip on the on this handle. The CF Elite material itself. To me, is like in between, I would say it's like in between Grivery and G10. That's the best way I could describe it. 
Uh, you can see like little metal, metal shimmerings in it. You can tell that it has carbon in it. It's, you know, but it feels like more like plastic than it does like um, G10. But it feels more like G10 than it does like Grivery. Because Grivery feels like plastic to me. Straight up plastic. This is this is something you could tell it's something that's different. It's not you could tell it's not Grivery and you could tell it's not G10. It's CF Elite, carbon fiber elite. It is what it is. It's a carbon fiber polymer mix material. And it's supposed to be lighter and stronger than Grivery and stiffer than G10. It's definitely a stiff material. Because this has stainless steel liners, but they're not like super thick stainless steel liners. And they've been lightened out. And this knife is still rigid. And this is a real thin material. This knife carries in your pocket and you forget it. You forget that it's there. It's just like carrying a little tiny knife. To me, it feels like I'm carrying a four ounce knife, like a small. But I carry, I don't ever carry knives smaller than like three and a half inches. That's, my, that's probably like the smallest knife you ever see me carrying. And I like to carry three and a half inch knives when I go to work. Those are like my work knives. But when I get off of work, I like to carry a four inch or larger knife. This is a nice knife. I really like this one. This is going to be one of my favorites. I can tell you that right now. This one will probably get a lot of pocket time. And it's just fun to play with. I like, I like my A10 Contigos. But those, I don't know, I've, I've played with them so much. As I've played with my, that the one that I, I, uh, I chose not to collect. That one so much, it's just like, it just like the blade just flies out. <laughs> <laughs> In my state in California, you know, we can't have switch blades. And that's about as close as I can get to having a switch blade right here. Made by, you know, a bench made switchblade anyway. That's about as close as I can get to it. I can't have the OTS. I can have them and I can collect them, but, and I have some automatics, but I, I, don't, I don't like to collect things I can't carry. And so, I don't collect them. They're fun to play with, I know that, and everything, but I like to have nice, I can put my pocket if I want to, and, and go out and go grab a beer or something, you know what I mean? Without having to worry about being, doing something that's against the law. I love this one. I absolutely love it. It is super light. I've never had a 10 inch knife that was this light. This is super light. I love the way it looks. To me, this is a tactical stiletto. That's what I would call it. A tactical stiletto. You can, like I said, you can get these with the, the combo edge. And I sort of would like to have one with a combo edge because it looks like this knife looks like it should have a combo edge. Even though I'm a plain edge person, I like I prefer plain edges over um, over serrated blades, you know. But serrated blades have their purpose too, though. They have their place too. And I think serrated blades, you know, partially serrated blades are, are the right kind of blades for tactical blades, so so you can cut rope, and if the other edge gets dull, you know, you can still cut things. In emergency situations, seat belts or whatever, whatever you need to have to cut. It's always good to have a serrated edge for an emergency knife. This knife is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. The Benchmade 391 BK SOP Plain Edge. A new favorite. Absolutely love this knife. I would highly recommend it. It is super sweet. I love it. And that's coming from a cold steel guy. You guys know I'm a cold steel guy, so <laughs> that means something coming from me. Uh, you know, what I mean, I'm not. A, I love Benchmades. I have a ton of Benchmade Balasons. I have a bunch of them. And I have like the Benchmade Contigos. I used to carry the AFCKs. And um, now I like these. These. This is the new Benchmade. There hasn't been a whole lot of Benchmade folders I really like. 
And the reason why is because I'm not attracted to a lot of their designs. A lot of their designs just don't do it for me. And me, I'm a stiletto. I've always loved stilettos. I have an extremely large stiletto collection. And this is beautiful. It's like the, it's like the, you know, it's like... It's like my, my favorite all-time stiletto is this one. It's this one, actually, this one in particular, number 154. Pimped out by myself. <laughs> this is my favorite stiletto right here. And I have Italian stilettos and German stilettos from yesteryear and from nearly today and a couple decades ago anyway. And I have a large collection of Italians and Germans and even some Russian stilettos or what do you call it? Uh, was it Czechos Czechoslovakian? I can't remember what, what, what those were, where they were made. But anyway, the Czech Republic, I think. But this is my favorite right here. This one. This one with the 7075 aluminum handles have been polished by hand, by myself. And I swapped the blade out for a new Lynn C. Thompson, number 154, tight light six, Chris, 440C, stainless steel. Stainless steel Chris, Filipino style Chris. Absolutely love this knife. I think it is. If knives, if it's knives are sexy, this is a sexy knife. <laughs> it's so sexy, 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 sexy. I love it. But anyway, that's my favorite stiletto. But this one is too big to carry. It's heavy. Weighs nine ounces. Let's see how much this one weighs. I think it weighs like nine ounces or something like that. Eight point seven ounces, close enough to nine ounces. It's heavy. It feels heavy. This feels like it'd be a good weapon to hit somebody over the head with the butt end of this. It feels like a billy club. Makes a great cubit down too. Grab somebody's wrist. It's an awesome. It's an awesome blade. I just like, and when you grab it with the, with the Chris, it feels like um. It's grooves, finger grooves for your fingers to hold on to. So you can use it as a as a, a, a less than lethal weapon also. You don't have to necessarily use it as a bladed weapon. There's other ways you can use the Tie Light 6. That's one of the things I like about the Tie Light 6. It has a whole bunch of different ways it can be used as a weapon. And if you have to, it's like, bam, there it is. There it is. I love this blade. But anyway, we're not talking about that one. This one is a stiletto that's made to be carried. This one's made to be carried. This one's made to be carried as an EDC every day and it's meant to be used. It's meant to be carried. It's meant to get worn out and sold on eBay as an old beat up, as an old beat up night that I probably buy and <laughs> refurbish. <laughs> but this one's made to be used. Whereas like the other one, this one, this is like my personal ED, my personal toy that I like to play with. And I don't know, you know, when you're watching a movie sometimes you like to sit there and play with it and fling it out a little bit or whatever. Just, I don't know. It's, I don't carry this one though. I, I have carried it though. Let me, you know, I, I gotta tell you the truth. I have carried it, but I don't carry it. Let me say that. Because it's, it's outside the, the legal limit in my area to carry for a blade length. So that's why I don't carry it. This one is a little bit over the blade length carry. You know, we have a four inch blade length. But I'm going to carry this one anyway. I don't care. I love this knife. You know, four and a half inches. You know, if they want to incarcerate me for it being a half an inch over, oh well. You know, I really love this knife. And I, I, I love the size of it. I love four inch knives, but I always like always wanted to have a little bit more oomph than just a four inch knife. And that's what this is. This is like 
I think a four and a half inch knife is maybe the perfect size for me. You know, when you start going like to the bigger blades, it start to be too long. Even though I love the bigger blades, they start to be too long for an EDC. You know, I'm talking about like a real EDC. One that you can carry all day long without really thinking about what's in your pocket and stuff like that. Not something that's heavy and that's weighing you down. This doesn't weigh me down. This is lighter than most of my other 4-inch knives. Most of my 4-inch knives are like 5, five ounces or near 5 ounces like the Recon 1 or, or the <clears throat> or the Tau Wars. But uh, they tend to be a, you know, a little bit heavier. Except for the holdout. The holdout's about this size. I mean about this weight. But um, I really love this. It's like super easy to open. Super easy to close. It's, it's fun to play with. Only thing is I won't wear this to work because if somebody did see it and wanted to see it, it'd be too intimidating. This would scare somebody. It's a very intimidating looking blade. It looks like a military blade that's meant for military purposes, martial purposes. This is not a blade that, that, that's designed to slice apples and cut tomatoes and and do all those um, daily chore type knit things, whatever, you know. This is designed for tactical use. <clears throat> it's a black class knife. It's a black class, bench made black class knife, just like the, the Contigo. This is meant for combat. But, you know, I'm sure, you know, with the, with the, the size of the thickness of this blade, I'm sure it might slice things up really nice and, and do all those kind of things too, though, if you need it to do that. It's not a super thick blade. And all the lines on the on the grinds and everything are perfect. Lots of times when you get cold steel knives, the grinds aren't all perfect. And I think they're hand ground or whatever, but you know. Sometimes you get perfect ones and sometimes you don't. The edge on it is nice too. It's a nice even looking edge. The only thing I don't like about D2, Benchmade does it, their Rockwell hardness in between 60 and 62, I think it is. And at that hardness, less times resharpening is hard. They don't, they don't, you have to use diamond stones. Can't use regular stones on it. Ceramic stones and other kinds of stones. You can see the holes in the in the in the stainless steel liners where they lighten it up. It's a beautiful knife. See, the, I'm trying to show you the window breaker, the glass breaker. Made by Greg Thompson. Designed by Greg Thompson. Definitely one of my new favorites. These also come with the, I already showed you, I think, the, the other the other pocket clip. And you that you could either mount your clip on whatever end that you want. Either, you know, the tip up, tip down, doesn't matter. Left or right, doesn't matter. And this, this knife is perfectly good for, you know, right, righties and lefties. It's totally ambidextrous. It's just a great knife. I think this is going to be a great knife. A lot of people are going to like this one. Anyway. And I've probably been going on too long. Let's go ahead and end this one. There it is. The brand new for 2020 Benchmade model 391 SOCP Carbon Fiber Elite Scale Badass Folder Access Lock. Peace out. Stiletto.